Welcome to the City Current Show, powered by Hagen Botham Insurance and Financial Services. This show focuses on sharing good news and powering the good in our community. Now here's your host, City Current CEO, Jeremy Park. Welcome back to the City Current Show, powered by Hagen Botham. I'm your host, Jeremy Park. We're always honored to bring you inspiring stories of individuals and organizations making a difference and powering the good. And we love talking about the power of entrepreneurship. That's why we're honored to have with us Jackie Kessler, Director of Tennessee State University's Business Incubation Center. How are you doing? Hi, Jeremy. I'm good. How are you? Doing very well. We love talking about entrepreneurship and education. And in this case, all those worlds collide. So let's start with a little bit about TSU. So Tennessee State University, amazing legacy, HBCU, uh, got all these you know amazing programs. Give us a little bit of context around Tennessee State University. Let's start there and then we'll talk all about the entrepreneurship. Yeah, so Tennessee State University, Tennessee's only HBCU, public public university. Um, many, many wonderful programs. Um, I think the ag department does amazing, amazing things, brings in a lot of grants, brings in a lot of um, different research. Uh, the engineering department is awesome. The College of Business, Avon Williams, downtown Nashville is amazing. Um, and then across the street from Avon Williams, that's me. That's the incubation center. So TSU all, all the way. Yeah, let's go ahead and dive in. So when you talk about the work you do, let's start broad. So give us kind of the mission and the purpose, and then we'll start diving in deeper. Yeah, so the Business Incubation Center, it was built with a TBA grant, Tennessee Valley Authority grant. Um, I think the Incubation Center was built in 1986. It was one of the first incubators in Tennessee and still going strong. Um, The main purpose of the Incubation Center is to hit the critical small businesses, the socioeconomic category small businesses, such as minority owned, um, disabled vet owned, and women owned businesses, and and make an impact into Nashville's economy, Middle Tennessee, Nashville's economy, yeah. Yeah, and so you have a physical space that allows for instruction and networking and co-working. So talk about the physical space. Yes. So our building is about 44,000 square feet. We take up an entire block. Um, It's right downtown Nashville off of 10th Avenue. We have about 28 individual suites that range from 500 square feet to 2,000 square feet. And those are used primarily for our incubate program. So for the incubate program, um, it's it's an application process to be a client into the program. Once you get accepted into the program, you get to pick out a space that is is you know going to help your business out, the right space for you. Um, along with the space, you get uh, free parking, free parking downtown Nashville. <laughs> I don't know where else you can find that. Um, free parking for you and your employees on site, um, you, uh, utilities are included. Uh, we have Wi-Fi around in the building. We have cleaning services twice a week for the common areas and bathroom. You get 24 seven access to your suite. And also you get monthly training sessions. And those training sessions are geared toward what our clients are going through at the time. So if you're having trouble with marketing or you need help with taxes, you just let me know and we we uh, gear toward our monthly training sessions toward those uh, those educational trainings. Um, this this month coming up uh, next week, next Thursday, we have business analytics. That's our training for this month. Um, and then also with the program, you get a business consultation each month. And our small business consult consult is Sue Malone, and she is phenomenal. She is amazing. She's probably the the best in the country, to be honest with you. And I'm not I'm not bragging. That's that's her. <laughs> She's amazing. So we have her at the business incubation center, and the clients meet with her once a month for about an hour to work on their goals. When you look at the breadth of the different industries, and you know, we talk about entrepreneurship, summer high tech, medical, 
healthcare. Talk about kind of the the breadth on your end and the variety of the different startups. We definitely have a variety at the incubation center. Yes, we have anywhere from IT consulting, specializing in AI, all the way up to um, catering services and industrial cleaning services and um, Amazon, we retail Amazon. So yeah, we have a lot of a lot of clients in a lot of different industries, and we try to to make individualized programs for them to help them scale out and and scale up and out of the incubation center into a commercial space of their own. Yeah, I mean that's the idea. Like you're saying, is pour into them, give them the support, the resources, the access, connections, which we'll talk about too, and you know tying that in, and then allow them to grow and expand and be successful, and then venture out, and then the next group comes in. So it you know becomes this nice wheel that perpetually spins and accelerates. And so all of that geared around making the community stronger to create more opportunities for growth and success. So carry that into then you also have the co-work program. So you've got co-working space, you have networking, you have without walls program. So you've got a lot of programs. Dive into some of the other ones. So without walls program, that's one of our newer programs. Um, you don't have to be located in the incubation center to be part of that program. That's a subscription based program. So you the clients pay a monthly fee and you have access to our monthly training sessions. So that's the without walls program. Our co-work space, we have a suite dedicated to our co-working co-working space and that's also subscription based. And we have about four to five semi-private offices in that suite alone for the co-work space. Touch on, you, you don't have to necessarily name the companies, but you mentioned some of the different variety of offerings and industries. Give us an example of kind of how it works in terms of stepping in, you know, with the idea, with the starting point, kind of curious through a little bit of that journey as an entrepreneur working through the Business Incubation Center. I'll highlight one of our newest clients. Um, it's He's Anthony Madrid with Dynamic Chiller Services. He does industrial um, industrial HVAC repair. He will also do smaller um, residential repair, but he, he specializes in industrial HVAC. He started his business about a year ago with his father, um, and he, he got some uh, state comp contracts. So he expanded and he needed a space. He grew out of his garage at his house. So he was like, I need space. I need to hire. I need to buy another vehicle. So um, he was perfect. He was perfect. I said, fill out the application. Um, so we, we got him into a good suite. Um, he, we were working with him on getting some more government contracts and getting certified with a uh, federal and state level and, um, working with him on financials and marketing. So he's doing great. Well, and I think that right there kind of paints the picture of, you know, where you're able to really step in and pour in. And then also to some of the nuances, which lead us to the next thing, which is when you talk about big, you know, government contracts and navigating the sea of, you know, opportunities with working with government entities, especially um, that can be something that most business owners, especially on the small side, don't know how to navigate. And that's an area where you're really helping. And so talk about an upcoming event, talk about kind of that focus area. Yeah, we thank you. Thank you for mentioning that. We do have an upcoming conference in June, June 12th and 13th at Music City Center here in Nashville. Um, it's a statewide government contracting opportunity conference called Go Beyond Tennessee. And you can find that at www.gobeyondtn.com. So we are trying to help small businesses get connected to government agencies and prime contractors uh, for buying opportunities and joint ventures. Um, and like you mentioned before, government contracting is huge. It's daunting. It's confusing. Um, but at the same time, it can be very lucrative if you can learn the ins and outs of it. So the TSU B Business Incubation Center has partnered with Tennessee Apex Accelerator. And in collaboration with SBA, we are putting on this conference um, 
Tennessee Apex has set up some uh, readiness courses. They're doing readiness courses every other week, biweekly, to help small businesses get on board and ready to do government contracting and to talk with the procurement agents at the at the uh, conference. So um, their readiness courses so far have been, um, they range anywhere from, you know, register with the state of Tennessee, get registered with GSA, get registered with the federal government, um, learning what your next code should be, your commodity codes, where working on your capability statement um, and working on your pitch as well. That's very important. So we're hoping to get these small businesses ready to come to the conference for the great value add, um, which one thing that sets this conference apart is our, our pre-screened matchmaking one-on-one -on -one session. So the small businesses that are ready to do government contracting, that are ready to go, that are registered and have their capability statement and and ready to talk to these procurement agents, they will be pre-matched with the procurement agents that will be attending the conference and they will have one-on-one -on -one sessions with those procurement agents in a special room. So that's a huge value add for this conference. Um, the second value add for the, the Go Beyond conference is the statewide part of it. Um, so we have included federal, state, and local government agencies, as well as prime contractors to this conference. So, I mean, a small business might have to go to six, seven conferences just to talk to all the agencies that will be in one place on June 13th. What are the different government agencies that are involved in the conference? Yeah, that's a good question. So we have several agencies confirmed to come. We have the DOE. We have Oak Ridge National Laboratories. We have the Army Corps, the Nashville, Memphis, and Louisville District. We have GSA, that's uh, General Service Administration. We have Fort Campbell, the city of Knoxville, um, Nashville Metro Schools, TBR, Tennessee Board of Regents. Um, we have Department of Veteran Affairs and Consolidated Nuclear Energy, and we still have uh, confirming agencies coming in every day. Yeah, touch on again how they can sign up and where they go for more information, because I think this is really important. Yeah, to register, if you're a small business, you can register at www.gobeyondtn.com. We have a registration site um, and payment portal. And then we also have the pre-screening forms that they need to fill out to get matched with um, procurement agents, matched with the buyers. Talk about the larger impact in the community, because we've been kind of alluding to it. But when you talk about the work with entrepreneurs, talking about you know these sort of opportunities and education and resources, you're creating an ecosystem, right? And that ecosystem then leads to more opportunities, more growth in terms of workforce and the talent side and the pay and salary and economic lift. Like there's a lot on the people side, the payment side, you know, the community side, which then leads into philanthropy too, being able to give and support nonprofits. So I think there's a lot of layers to what you're doing and ripples in the larger context. So touch on that side. Like you said, there are a lot of ripples and layers. <laughs> it's huge. I'm, I'm trying to compact everything as much as I can. Um, I could talk for another hour about the incubation center, but um, yeah, it's very important to to uplift um, certain socioeconomic small business categories. And that's what we're trying to do. That's where our resources are trying to go into. And the ripple effect is hiring, putting money back into the economy, being support for other small businesses coming up and creating a mentor ecosystem, um, creating wealth, creating generational wealth, getting that started. Um, there's lots of areas to, to touch on and to talk about. Um, and there's many resources in Nashville, many, many, and the incubation center loves to partner and, and head up some projects with everyone, um, such as Tennessee Apex. Um, we've partnered with VBOC up in Fort Campbell for Boots to Business with their veterans groups. Um, and now we're also partnering with SCORE this year to, to create some events as well. Um, so all those resources, uh, th they're out there, they're free. People, people want to help people. So we're just one of, one of the little drops in the buckets trying to, trying to help people 
create wealth and, and impact Nashville's economy, middle, middle Tennessee's economy as well. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, talk about how the community can help support your efforts. So, you know, we've kind of touched on obviously the entrepreneur side, but, you know, in a larger context, financial contributions, opportunities, you know, obviously, you know, using and, and leveraging the entrepreneurs to help them grow. So supporting their businesses, but how can the community help Tennessee State University's Business Incubation Center? Yeah, we're always looking for mentors, always looking for mentors for our small business uh, owners and clients. Um, the Go Beyond Conference, we have a sponsorship page where companies can sponsor the Go Beyond Conference and, and attend and have a booth as well. Um, but yeah, just mentorship, word of mouth, um, partnering in the community, networking, yeah. We're all about community and, and building relationships. Well, that leads us into the last question, which is where do we go for more information? So talk about website, social media, where do we go to get plugged in? Yeah, so our website is um, tennesseestate.edu slash BIC. That's our, the Business Incubation Center website. Um, and I believe the, the Go Beyond Conference website, that's the huge thing that's going on right now. Um, trying to spread the word far and right, wide around the state of Tennessee. And that's again, www.gobeyondtn.com. So the website again on the uh, Tennessee State University Business Incubation Center is tnstate.edu slash BIC. So the initials obviously for Business Incubation Center. So that makes it easy. Jackie, thank you for all you and your amazing team do to power the good. Thank you for coming on the show. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you very much. Higginbotham Insurance and Financial Services is proud to power the City Current Show. We're a people-first company that protects what matters most, the families, businesses, and trailblazers that keep our community going. As one of the nation's top independent insurance firms, Higginbotham is a single-source solution for business insurance, employee benefits, HR services, and personal insurance that's customized for you. We're here to serve you, the people you care about, and your community. Call 866-377-1959 or visit Higginbotham.com.